Hey guys, Pete. Got a quick tip for you today on the serve. We're gonna learn how to master our control tonight. And what I want you guys to think about when you're serving is that you have the ability to change gears and ramp up your serve. Lots of people can't do that. They either serve, you know, kind of slow or really big, or even when they're gonna serve slow, it doesn't have the same, they serve slow and then they serve fast, it doesn't have the same rhythm. What you want is the same rhythm. So I want you to pretend is that you're driving a car, and first you're driving in your neighborhood. There's lots of kids around. You gotta drive nice and slow, because you gotta be careful, and that's how you wanna start serving when you're getting ready to play a match. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that serve out on the city street. So now we go a little faster, but we still gotta be careful before we take it on the highway and let it all out. That's how you wanna practice and get ready for a match. I see too many people just start serving big right away, or they only have the ability to serve big, or if they're gonna go from slow to fast, it looks much different. If you were to watch Roger Federer warm up or any of these pros warm up, when they hit the shot, because this goes even more from the serve, it can be any stroke, like if Roger Federer is starting to warm up his forehand, he can start going nice and slow, but it's still got the same shape and rhythm. Right, so we're trying to keep the same shape and rhythm, if that makes sense, as we're doing our warm up, but just build up the pace. So watch me do a couple. First, I'm gonna start out in my neighborhood. So, now I've got my kind of grip. I'm gonna swing through it, you know, nice and smooth. I'm not gonna stop my swing, but I'm just warming up in my neighborhood, okay? And I just keep going like that. Then after that, I'm going to bring it out on the city streets. So I'm just going to go a little faster. It's still got the same shape and feel. Right? And then once I feel good about that, then I can start to bring the serve out on the highway and hit it a lot bigger. All right? But you want to make sure before you bring that bad boy out on the highway that you've got the first two down. You just don't want to feel like you're not in a rhythm and all of a sudden oh, I'm just going to start hitting the serve big. you got to master those first two before you bring it out on the highway, okay? Because we don't want you getting in an accident out there. So this is Pete saying, save hitting out there. And when you get this down, I want all the credit. You know, tell all your friends where you heard this from Pete at Crunch Time Coaching. Like and subscribe this video, comment below, and we'll see you next time.